I'm wearing that every night. In the store. I bought it right before I came here. I was like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> Right, hopefully this can hear us all. But uh, oh yeah, those are good recordings. First of all, that was so much fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, it was awesome. Um, I guess my like first question, like I just wanted to ask, is like, how did it like all begin? You guys were both in like Chicago and uh, yeah, we um, yeah, I uh, lived in Chicago since I was twelve, and uh, so I met Clay when I was eighteen through mutual friends, and then um, I didn't start making music till I was nineteen. Just kind of sporadically started making music um and then it wasn't and then I was kind of making like I knew I went to make clay was in Twin Peaks kind of like starting you know doing their thing and then uh I had um I'd been making just kind of strange weird nonsensical instrumental electronic music on were you laptop. releasing that stuff no no, no, no. I, just I was just around. making it in my yeah, bedroom cool. um during school. It all starts somewhere. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I was just kind of doing that for a while. Uh, did that for a couple of years. And then one night when we were, uh, me and Clay were at a bar, just some, some people, he was like, um, I don't think I've ever even sh- showed Clay any of my music, but he was like, we've talked about just, you know, we both made music before. And I had like just like kind of built up a, a bunch of synthesizers in my room, just buying them, you know. And I just became obsessed with synthesizers and oh, yeah. switched my major to audio engineering at school. So I just oh, got like kind of really into it. Where'd you go? Sudden, at Columbia College in Chicago. Oh, nice. Nice. So I just got like kind of really into it all, like studio recording and mixing and engineering and stuff like that. And then I was just making music in my free time outside of school, focusing on that a lot. And then one night, yeah, I mean, players at a bar, and then we were just like drunkenly like, yeah, let's make some music tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Like, you make rock, I make like weird electronic music. Let's just like combine, <laughs> combine the two. It, yeah, yeah, let's just like make some weird shit. And then it was just like a drunken thing where we were like, we're not going to do it. But like, then the next morning he just came over with his guitar and then we started making music. And, um, the first three songs we made were very like, kind of, uh, I still like them, but we never released any of them. But like, they're kind of like really dark, strange, like, almost like horror movie soundtrack kind of oh, stuff. Shit, like, dude. we like pitched all our vocals down when we, when we sang. And they were like crooning kind of like dark songs. And then uh, we, the first song I think we made was Trouble. We made that in like two hours, really fast one night. And then went over to my, I went over to my friend's place afterwards with like an MP3 like bounce of it and showed my friends. And they were all like, damn, I like this. We <laughs> Jumping like, around. Yeah, we were like, okay. Yeah. Like, and then we were like, maybe we got something. Like, we'll just put out like a five track, like a little free EP on Bandcamp. Maybe play like a show in Chicago. And then, and then it just kind of grew into a bigger thing slowly. The more friends we showed, the more they were like, you got to do something with this. So Honestly, Bandcamp, too, just, mm-hmm. like, is such a great service. And yeah. Like, I found so many artists that, like, oh, just, like, just fucked with. They're yeah. so crazy, man. It's totally a lot of great ones. <laughs> um, yeah, we just kind of did that. And then, you know, it just slowly just became into, like, let's make a record. Yeah. And then we, we uh, our friend, uh, Na- oh, Kevin, we went to high school with that we both live with goes by Knox Fortune I've heard that name before yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so we, uh, he's, he's like one of my best friends and his first after he put out his debut record in the fall of 2017 or wait sorry yeah 17 he uh, played a hometown show in Chicago and he needed a, an opener so we uh, we opened for him Oh, that it was, was gonna, your, it was gonna be Claro actually. That was your first like gig. Yeah. Our Where first was that at? Ever. Lincoln Hall. In Chicago. Lincoln Hall, Chicago. Yeah, it was our first time. My first time ever on a stage. It's pretty big stage for first time. Yeah, oh, I yeah, know. Yeah, it was it was nerve wracking and crazy. <laughs> we, we had literally no idea what we're doing. No idea. And was like, that your first time performing it? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we just went into it, did it. It was fun, and then after because right before with the um, we put uh, right before that show promote the show just so like we're not like a nobody like no one has any idea who the opener is we just put trouble we made a video for trouble yeah it's a great video just, like yeah Dude, just, like, we me and my love friend Jackson that video. And my roommate well, I love all, videos. Those, yeah. all those videos are great who makes maybe, the videos uh me and Jackson my okay, friend nice. Jackson makes a lot of videos that's like you know, his business and and that speaking of that like that apartment is that like oh uh, for in violent uh for trouble I think for trouble yeah that's oh, Vi- I think the- Violent. Violent oh, is Violent. one that has like, a oh, lot yeah, of like, inside. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's me and Clay's old apartment. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was a, that was a fun one. Yeah, we just kind of to watch yeah. the chasing around the apartment. Yeah, well, yeah we had, like, every time we shoot a video, we have no idea, like no plan, but like kind of just like, let's imagine uh, an idea. Because we, we, we don't really like storylines for music videos. It's like, like a, a simple idea or like a, a lighting. Yeah. Colors. 
than just like oh yeah videos. I definitely know there's like purple it's like skateboard videos yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's what I was gonna mention yeah yeah I mean, I've been skateboarding since I was like a, a child oh it's, shit like, my like favorite thing apart from music I like, okay. grew up making skateboard videos with like fisheye cameras and stuff like that so that was kind of like the style and idea behind uh, our videos we're like let's just go out like you do when you skateboard and just film with your friends and have no idea what you're gonna get and then yeah. come home, go home and edit it that's how we do all our videos just like simple little fisheye camera that's dope, that's dope. You know, just do that you know? just like have your friends over and make a fun video basically yeah that sounds mm-hmm. like a great time check my so this is like the first like full tour right oh yeah it is, it is. Did, well, was there anything that like kind of surprised you in your first shows? Were you surprised like the reactions kind of and, like on this how many, tour? Or how, yeah, or, or, the, or the first shows or anything like how yeah many in people Chicago came out? I suppose yeah definitely that we were surprised that anyone was even coming. I, mean, I don't know. I mean I think you like. I'm always surprised if anyone comes at all. I mean I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean like I'm you know <laughs> I'm humbled. You know? I'm yeah. Glad no. People come, but I'm just like damn like yeah. people. Um, what was the what was the question? Oh, the first shows. Yeah, the first shows were just like super fun. Like. First show was the one with uh, Knox Fortune. Is this your first um, time being in Boston, or you playing a show? But I've been to Boston yeah. once before, like years okay. ago, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. like a weekend. But is there any places that you're like excited to go to? To or see, like, yeah, even yeah, I was spots. very excited. I've never been to Canada before, so we oh, went shit. to Toronto, Montreal. And then oh, that was like recently, a couple days ago. Yeah, we were in Montreal two days ago. Where did you guys play there? Uh, Bar Le Ritz. Yeah, that was fun. One. But. Yeah, I'm definitely. There's definitely like a handful of cities I've never been to before to go on this tour. I'm excited to go to Asheville. We're playing with Cherry Blazer in Asheville, so that'll be a fun one. Um, yeah, I'm excited. We have a lot of friends in New York tomorrow and in LA and stuff like that. So a lot of shows I'm excited for. Are you guys? So you guys are just traveling with this van, huh? We are. Yes, yeah, so losing our minds in that van. I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, oh. Speaking of the van, like, what have you guys been listening to? Like a lot of podcasts. A lot of podcasts. Yeah, yeah you can murder, listen to a, yeah, a lot of murder around. mystery podcasts. <laughs> oh shit! Cool. Yeah, we, we love murder mystery podcasts. Just there's, like strange murders. There's a podcast called S Town or Shit Town. I don't know yeah, if you guys have I've heard, heard the name, that. but I don't yeah. know if, like. Alex Huff over here. He he he's he, him and Clay know all the all the podcasts. So I'm kind of just getting into it all. Yeah. And me and Clay really love. We just love uh, detective stories, murder mystery, like yeah. movies and shows, and podcasts. We just are obsessed with that yeah. stuff. So I just <laughs> yeah. love like really dark. Like, Some inspiration. I'm like a huge. Yeah. Well, I'm like, I'm a huge like horror movie fan. What's your favorite horror film? Um, ugh, it's so hard. Like maybe off the bat, like the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I just think it's so incredible. Yeah. So many though. I used to like work at haunted houses for like nine years. Oh shit! I just yeah, I'm very into horror stuff. I don't do that anymore, but yeah, yeah. some influence. Yeah. yeah, I just love spooky stuff. It's just exciting and energetic to me, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, mm-hmm. thanks for the airhead. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I really wanted to ask about the airheads. Molly like, Vinyl, our record label. Oh, it's the record sends, label. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess uh, that's sad to say. That's not us personally. We don't send the stuff like, oh. from our house personally. I was hoping I got one right directly no, it's, from it's the store. Uh, yeah, our record label's like thing is like they send out airheads with all of the everything. So cool. I was like, I opened up the now. box and an airhead fell on me. I was like, <laughs> yeah, what did I order? Great. Like that? Thank you, thank you for getting some. I yeah, no, that, yeah. I got the uh, the yellow vinyl. I think. That oh was, yeah, that's like, like the, the limited edition, like, first yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. If those poster. are probably out now. I think. Yeah. yeah. No, that was actually a great like uh, pack- package deal because you got the poster in there. Got yeah, Pablo sticker. is great. I love that label. Yeah. I got a lot of great bands, and I'm wearing the Cure Cure Benito. It's Definitely come back. Band of theirs. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this shit, man. Thanks. Thanks Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Also, your skateboard is sick. Oh, you seen a skateboard? Yeah. I'm oh wow, that's crazy. Instagram, so oh wow, sick. Like, Thank you. It's insane. Appreciate yeah, it. I'm not good. <laughs> that makes me Doesn't matter how good you are, skateboarding is the greatest thing in the world. Oh, yeah, yeah man. So I fun. love it. Thanks again. That was Joe. That was Thank Joe. Thank you. <laughs> that was funny. I also noticed, because I, I follow you guys on Instagram too, but I've seen some soccer themes lately. Are you guys oh, soccer yeah. fans? Well, I grew up in London until I was 12, so oh. like, oh, sure. I don't play anymore, but when I was a kid, definitely, like, it's just like, you can't not like it. You big know? Arsenal. Team? I'm a huge big Arsenal, Arsenal fan. Big huge Arsenal, Arsenal fan. Yeah. Even though, even hard, though, hard couple yeah, even yeah, though they've been lately, losing yeah. like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but. Do you have a team? I mean, I guess when I was a kid, when I was a younger kid, yeah. it was, I lived until I was 12, but when I was a young kid, it was Fulham. And then cool. uh, Arsenal, when I like right before I left, I liked Arsenal. Hey. So, yeah. but I was when I was a child, I was like really into Fulham. Yeah. yeah. No, they're good. They're, I, think, I live pretty close to, to both those. Uh, yeah, I feel like when you're stadiums. in London, you have like there's like twenty. They're pretty teams close to each other. From. Like, so which many. one is which? But, like one of them is like just like it was like just south of Thames where I lived in South London, like right near where I lived. So, 
Have you been back there since? Or? Only once. Uh, maybe you guys will tour. Yeah, there. no, we've yeah. gotten a lot of offers and stuff, but we just yeah, trying to cool. schedule wise, trying to figure it out. Like a Europe tour. I'm sure we'll play a show there fall or the winter or something like that. Yeah. Does the record label or like promoters like handle all that stuff? Like, That's well, there's like the record label which is like promotes like the music. And yeah. Then there's uh, our booking agent which gets a shows and stuff like that. So it's all like there's like different aspects of it. Okay. Different yeah. teams of people. And this is all kind of new to you or like? Yeah, I mean, I I've been around like so many of my friends do music professionally. <laughs> Like since I was like 18, uh, yeah. this is the first time I'm touring and stuff like that. So I'm learning how touring works and then, yeah. you know records, labels, and all that kind of stuff. And but your drummer, um, what's his name? Right yeah, there, yeah. How'd you guys meet? Uh, he's just like in like the the crew, m- mutual friends in yeah. Chicago. Everyone in Chicago, you know, it's like it's your Boston like the, like, It's a very uh, small city. Everyone knows each other. I feel like Chicago is like one of the most tight knit you know. music. Like, uh, this is Mr. Boy. Alex up here. Hey, you helped out you with the say, tour. Yeah, you can you shout say out. Some words hey, yeah. what's up, podcast? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the name? What's the name of the podcast? Tunnel Underground. Tunnel. Tunnel. We're hey, pretty new. Tunnel Underground. You're listening to. This will be the third mm-hmm. episode. We got Nude Party, and then one of our new buddies. One, oh, they're yeah. such good friends. I yeah. love them. We I had their shirt on. Their shirt on earlier. Those guys are like so. They are. They're a boy. I'm so excited for whenever their next album comes out. Oh yeah. It's just. It's gonna be amazing. Ask me one question. I've never been interviewed. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ask up a question. What is your favorite type of wine? Uh, Just grape tooth. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Can we get clay on? Yeah. If he's available. (laughs) <laughs> Anything red, I guess. Nothing too sweet. Yeah, you don't like, like the sweet. pink stuff. Yeah, me too. No Moscato. I'm not I much think, of I like, think, like I, I love like... wine, but like, I'll be the guy to get the wrong. Kind of wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just get like the cheap, like six dollar barefoot wine. You know, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'll say yeah. it's the same for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys yeah. are a Boston-based podcast. Yeah, uh, we're, cut, from we're from Western like, Mass. Yeah, well. We go to call. We go to UMass Amherst. I don't know if you know the school. I'm not familiar, but so it's out in like Western Mass. But we live in like north of Boston, so we just we're kind of back and forth there. We just started it because like we wanted. We have like some friends who like play music and art, and then we just love a lot of bands. We just want to go talk to them and. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, I, like that's just like the. Speaking of that, like, what what bands are you guys like super into right now, or like what should we yeah. check out, or like? This one, like it's hmm. one of the, the maybe Kiro Kiro should... Benito. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. a polyvinyl uh, band. They're great. They're from London. So well, I've been listening any to genre, any genre, honestly. Mm-hmm. That's hard. I just listen to the blues. The yeah, blues, we, we, the blues, we, we, the blues, yeah. the blues. We listen to a lot of country, just country music. We've been really into this. Uh, you guys know Low hey, Cut hey, Connie? Clay, can you come in our podcast? <laughs> Maybe we can just want to say a word. Yeah, yeah. Say something to the people, man. The people. It's a they little. Say something to the people, my dog. You having a good night? People. <laughs> People, <laughs> let me talk to you. Thank you. Thank tell them, preach it. Just tell them what they need to know. No, I've had a great night. We asked one. And it's all on account of one James, good man. James. Who's that, that man's name? Is That's James the man. Lumber. James I was Lumber. talking to James He's earlier. the glue that I keeps learned a lot this about family him. together. Yeah. yeah. You know that he, he worked in the liquor store by where I grew up. Oh, shit. I did not get when he moved to that. Chicago, and that's... Why are we taking this garbage with us? Because we got to throw it away, We're going to find a dumpster. We haven't found one yet. Is that a new keyboard that you got? Yeah, I broke my synth in the last year. The world is a dumpster. I have to ask you actually, that guitar the world you played? Is a you that, that guitar you played like, is so sick. I have a yeah. Where'd you get that? Yeah. 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 I was making music, I bought a microphone. <laughs> So I, I got that. Did you have the uh, Johnny's vocal, guitar? The thing that go That's a strictly yeah. great tooth guitar. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I love no, that thing. No, I didn't get it. Uh, I, 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 I didn't get it there, so, so long ago. ago. So I was you, playing it on the there, last. Uh, you can get me one. I need one. Oh, okay. Oh uh, no, that the song you played at the beginning is great too. Oh yeah, 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 crazy. I love the harmonica. They're fun to play. I have like seven harmonicas, and I just try to like sit there and play. You can't mess up because it's just in key. Yeah, pick the right key. Yeah, I just somehow. Oh, yeah. Once you have the, the good key, you're, you're set. All right, maybe uh, like closure. Yeah. Anything you guys want to get out to people? Anything? What's, yeah, what's this next? The podcast. Yeah, this yes, is the, the podcast. podcast. Yeah, 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 say yeah, your yeah, name. My name is James Swanberg. I have a song called It's No Wonder We're In Love. It's on Spotify right and now. He's Give it be a listen. On Jimmy I'm going to be on Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon, Fallon in hey. one day. One day? One day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very <laughs> excited about it. Tomorrow night. Sorry, Cardi B, but I'm going to jump in. <laughs> Yo, my, my client, whoa, sorry, uh, my client James Swamberg will be on late night television within this month. You heard it here. Yay. Yeah. 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 Also, yeah, if you, hey, uh, if you want to get in there, say yeah. it. Yeah. Advertise yourself. Oh, say your name. Oh, your handle. Throw your handle. Oh, Throw your handle. Just, Throw your handle. Just, Anything, yeah. Say what you want. Say what you want. <laughs> oh, I got nothing to say, though. Hey. Oh. That's it. We just want to help us. Yeah, tell Jenna you love her. Yeah, oh. say something. I love Jenna Sullivan. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go.
the most. Thank you guys great. so much. Yes. Thank you. We really Dave, appreciate thank it. You so much. Thank you, appreciate it. Appreciate everything. It was a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Great. Oh, hey, I'll DVR that. You guys are Jimmy Kimmel. It's the first thing. Fallon and Kimmel and Corden. We're going for all the Oh, wow. Let me get a Shout out all my homies in Chicago. Shout out When You Crew. Yeah. That's all I need to say. Hey, Thank you. Wait, wait, one more question. Who's the driver? Yeah. Who's the driver? Yeah, who's, who's the driver? Playboy, the driver. Hey. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Oh, you guys sit.